I will tell you, in terms of leadership, he's getting an A. Our president is not doing so well. And when referring to a comment that Putin made about you, I think he called you a brilliant leader, you said it's always a great honor to be so nicely complimented by a man so highly respected within his country and beyond. Well, he does have an 82% approval rating, according to the different pollsters, who, by the way, some of them are based right here. Look, he's also look. a guy who annexed Crimea, invaded Ukraine, supports Assad in Syria, supports Iran, is trying to undermine our influence in key regions of the world, and according to our intelligence committee, community, probably is the main suspect for the hacking of the DNC computers. Well, nobody knows that for a fact, but do you want me to start naming some of the things that President Obama does but Do you want to be time? complimented by that former KGB officer? Well, I think when he calls me brilliant, I'll take the compliment, okay? If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. I've already said he is really very much of a leader. I mean, you can say, oh, isn't that a terrible thing? He called him, I mean, the man has very strong control over a country. Donald Trump at the Commander-in-Chief Forum last night with Matt Lauer, uh, restating his admiration for Russian President Vladimir Putin. If he says great things about me, I'm going to say great things about him. When he calls me brilliant, I'll take the compliment, okay? Here's the thing. Do you want to know the real, crazy, Bilderberg, lizard people, fake moon landing, juice boxes make you gay truth about this particular issue in our presidential politics? Vladimir Putin never actually called Trump brilliant. Yeah! No, no! This is gonna unravel the whole thing! You made some comments about the American Republican uh, presumptive nominee Donald Trump. Um, you called him uh, brilliant, outstanding, talented. Uh, these comments were reported around the world. I was wondering what, uh, what, in, what in him led you to that judgment, and do you still hold that judgment? You personally are very famous in our country. You are not only famous as a journalist in one of the biggest TV stations, but as an intellectual. Why do you always change the meaning of what I said? Because at the moment, you speak as a journalist, not as an analyst. Why are you juggling with what I said? I only said that he was a bright person. Isn't he bright? He is. I did not say anything else about him. See? This is... This shouldn't be important, but this year it is. This whole thing about Trump praising Putin because Putin praised him, this whole thing that has turned the Republican Party into a pretzel because now their presidential nominee is saying he prefers the Russian president to be president of the United States of America. This whole thing about Putin praising Trump and that led to this whole problem for Republicanism, let alone this Republican nominee, let alone the Republican Party, it appears to have been a bit of a misunderstanding. Um, it's true that the word brilliant was initially reported when Vladimir Putin made his comments in Russian uh, about Donald Trump last December. But the news sources who originally translated his remarks that way, they later corrected themselves to say that the actual Russian word that Putin used when talking about Donald Trump only means brilliant in one sense. It means brilliant in the sense of shiny, brilliant as in a, a bright light, not as in a bright person. Uh, NBC went to the chair of the Russian department at Dartmouth College today and, and asked about the actual words that Putin used when he described Donald Trump back in December, asked about this difference between our concept of the word brilliant, which can mean both shiny or genius. Uh, asked about that, that difference between our concept of the word brilliant and the Russian word that Putin actually used. Turns out, had Putin meant to call Donald Trump brilliant, as in a genius, as in a smart person, which is what Donald Trump thinks Putin said about him, turns out, if that's what Putin meant, he would have used this word, which I am not going to pronounce because I do not speak Russian. Apologies to my ancestors. Uh, he did not use that word, which would mean brilliant in the sense of being a genius, being a very smart cookie. Instead, Putin, when talking about Donald Trump, used this word, which I will also not pronounce, but Russians use this word to mean brilliant in the sense of bright light, 
or bright colors. And so the initial translations of Putin last December calling Donald Trump brilliant were all corrected after the fact. The Guardian newspaper actually issued a print correction at the time, changing their translation to say that Putin did not call Trump brilliant, he called him colorful. Other translations were later amended to show that Putin actually called Donald Trump a word more like flamboyant. And Putin himself has clarified with Fareed Zakaria uh, last, uh, this, past, uh, this past June that, that he did not call Trump brilliant in that genius sense. He was not complimenting him in that way. He does not think he's a genius. He thinks he's flamboyant and colorful. And that is not nearly as nice a thing to say. And you know what? It really shouldn't matter. You know, on the one hand, who cares? On the other hand, we now have to. Because this is apparently an election where the Republican presidential campaign does its research at the number one online debunker of 9-11 and the Oklahoma City bombing and the Challenger disaster and the Aurora movie theater massacre and the Sandy Hook shootings and the Boston bombings because all of those things didn't really happen. They're all government conspiracy theories. On the one hand, that is their news source. That is what they, at the highest levels, are circulating to the American public as the truth they ought to know about their country. This is an election year where the Republican Party is running as their candidate for president. A candidate who is so self-centered and narcissistic that a flippant and apparently misquoted compliment from another foreign leader was enough to put enough stars in his eyes that the Republican Party's presidential nominee now really does say he prefers the president of Russia to the president of the United States. This stuff is crazy, and it should be irrelevant, but this is the highest level of our politics right now. And it's so easy, easily manipulable, because that's what it is. I mean, nobody's done it already, but somebody should send a fake mash note from Kim Jong-un to Donald Trump complimenting him on, on, on his suits or his hair or something. And then wait five minutes and ask Donald Trump if he thinks the United States government should give North Korea a state dinner. Seriously. They've mastered the art.